Babe, I got this. A Ow. scenario you never want to be in, and that no. was obviously tongue in cheek, but that happens a lot. Yes. Believe I don't it or not, Gail got him to leave. She nailed him down. That was pretty funny, actually. <laughs> <laughs> a little creativity. But what if I told you the 37,000 visits a year to the ER? for nail gun injuries of that type. I mean, so mm -hmm. common. Most of us aren't used to using power tools, drills, electric saws, things like that. What happens when you have a quote unquote impaled object? In general, most objects you want to leave in until you get to the ER because if it is in a major vessel and you pull it out, you're going to start bleeding a lot. And if it's a big enough vessel, you could theoretically bleed to death. I, mean, I think that, that holds true for most areas. We, we've talked about it in and around the head, the face. We've talked about it if you have something in your abdomen or something like that, you would never try to pull it out. And your extremities, I think it holds true as well. You know, and if the nail is a wound that punctures your skin, gets in deep, and comes out on its own, one of the things that, that you're gonna realize is you probably are gonna be bleeding. As much as you can, you wanna clean that wound out with a lot of irrigation. And certainly if there are any concerns, you wanna get that wound looked at. There's a high risk of infection in those deep puncture wounds. And these are way, way too common. Right, and one of the things you want to worry about, especially with like nails or rusty nails, is tetanus, you know, a lockjaw is what a lot of people know that as. And that can be, even though it's rare here because we have a vaccine that you usually start getting uh, when you're an infant or now actually when you're pregnant, it's, it's uh, the Tdap is what they recommend for pregnant women in the last trimester. Um, you can it can still be life-threatening if you're not. In some countries where they don't have the vaccine, they actually knock out a a tooth so that in case they get locked jaw, they can still eat. So it's very important. So if you're not caught up on your series as an adult, you want to um, get a booster every 10 years. But if you haven't received your series when you were an infant, then you need to talk to your doctor about that. And again, for pregnant women, it can be part of the, um, the tetanus diphtheria and pertussis, the Tdap series that we're now recommending during pregnancy.